You won, Mr. President-elect. You won, and we are yours to lead, and we are broken. We are, as a civic body, unwell. You have promised to beat COVID-19 and get our country back on track to protect the public health of our communities. But as a nation at this particular moment in our history, who do we mean when we use the word public? Do we believe in a body, a civic body, to whom we owe shared responsibility and care? We pride ourselves that we will care for our neighbor and that we will help those far away when tragedy strikes. But do we have a public imagination that sustains a social bond between ourselves and a stranger just beyond our sight? Mr. President-elect, for all of us to be healthy, we need to build our capacity to imagine together. Public imagination is necessary for public will. Public will is necessary for public action. Public action is necessary for public good. Artists are often called on in times of crisis and recovery to bring their expertise to three areas, communication, connectivity, and hope. Mr. President-elect, do that. Work with artists to deliver messages that will save lives. Work with artists to prevent social distancing from shredding social fabric. Work with artists to inspire vision and help people stay strong and loving and generous, but also work with artists when residents hold contrary perspectives around challenging public issues because artists have the skills to build communities and coalitions. Work with artists when we need to envision truly new solutions for wicked problems because artists have the skills to help solve problems in civic space. Work with artists when we wrestle with issues of justice and identity, because artists have the skills to engage the public with purpose, ask hard questions with love, and hold space for difficult conversations with courage. Mr. President-elect, we receive different information from siloed sources. We, sw we spend our time in echopods of like-minded thinkers. We carry around with us ideology-informed narratives of conspiracy, paranoia, and anxiety. We experience the police in radically different ways, and we are dying from COVID-19 in startlingly disproportionate numbers. Our home of the free has been, for, for many and for far too long, a home of inequity and injustice. I ask you to recognize the necessity of public imagination in efforts to disrupt systemic and structural racism, revisit national narratives, and heal historic traumas. If we promise change, but don't know what we are changing to, we fail. If we miss recovery, we rebuild, but don't reimagine. We miss the greatest opportunity in a generation to do better for everyone. Your vision of a nation that works for everyone is dependent on all Americans committing to build a story together, a narrative that includes all, cares for all, and is based in a shared vision for what the public and public health should mean. We need an investment in and a commitment to public imagination. I ask you to prioritize public imagination in the work of protecting and rebuilding our communities. Artists, designers, culture makers and heritage holders are a local resource in every place. They can help us co-create our shared story, imagine a better nation, and devise how we get from here to there.